Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and we actually will have a series now about the different types of malware. And this is going to be interesting because there's different types and they all behave differently and we're I'm going to examine each type, what they do, if there's possibility to detect them and of course how we get them and how what they actually do and how they propagate so um in this first video we're going to just talk about what exactly is malware uh, so there's different types of malware there's adware there's file list malware yes it exists viruses there are worms trojans bots and ransomware and of course rootkits and spyware what are the differences between all of them? We're going to have a video on each type and talk about how we get them and what they actually do. But first of all, in this video, malware. What's malware? Malware is malicious code. It's a computer program most of the time. Not always. It could be a very small script that does something, but it's written by somebody and its intent is to infect your machine in some way or somebody else's computer or devices in some way. Um, today's malware is driven by money and there are of course several ways that people get malware. One of them that I talk about all the time is updates. That's or There's a reason why Windows updates are important. The reason Windows updates are important because they keep you safe. Updating your software. We often talk about how you know you got to update your uh, Edge browser or update uh, Google Chrome or Firefox. We had today because they have security flaws that get fixed. So that's one way that you get malware: not updating your machine and having an outdated operating system like Windows Seven. The other um, way of getting malware is by doing things that you shouldn't do. Going on the web and downloading or clicking up whatever you're, you know, you see downloading illegal movies, music, uh, games with cracks and stuff like that is always a big, big problem. The other part is email. Email is a huge, huge way of also getting some malware. It is actually the most popular way after Windows updates because attachments and links can be malicious. So it's always difficult. Um, if you're not you know, careful, it could be difficult. One of the biggest mistakes of almost anyone using a PC is thinking that I have a good antivirus, that's why I'm safe. When in reality, it is not at all the case. Your antivirus is there on light cases and could mitigate sometimes something that might be trying to get in. But it is of very limited use. And anybody out there that pays for antivirus or has big gun antiviruses that think they're safe, they're not. And it's unfortunately too much. Um, I, I see that too much. People thinking that, that what they have is keeping them safe. What you have in an antivirus is not keeping you safe. What's keeping you safe is updates and what you do. That is 99.9%. .9%. And we did a series on it. If you look at the um, security experts, they don't even talk about antivirus when they talk about security on a PC. It's very far in the list because that's not what's keeping you safe. Especially today, there's a pretty big chunk of malware that it actually gets undetected. So don't think your antivirus is keeping you safe. It's not the case. And of course, uh, the major reason for malware today is money. Why? Because there's all sorts of ways to make money with these malware. Um, and we are going to see on each one uh, what happens. But basically, today's monitor, it's a big business. Um, there's a lot of people that, and over the years we heard, a lot of people have all sorts of, you know, fake news. Uh, one of them is um, 
Oh, well, you know, I don't do Windows updates because apparently they can, you know, they, they bring in viruses. No, it's the other way around. They mitigate viruses. They are actually there to make keep you safe. Um, I heard antivirus companies create these viruses to make money. If that would happen, uh, I can tell you they would be in big trouble, and that's not the case. And so it's really um, part of a big business, making money out of stealing data, snooping, out of sending you to places that you wouldn't go because it will redirect your links. It will change what you see, what you click on, all of that, all sorts of ways, ransomware, just making you pay to get your computer back. And so there's a lot of that going on. And of course, that's a big business and there's always somebody somewhere creating new ways of getting in, new ways of trying to get uh, money from you in you know, a particular way. So it's, it's not, you know, when you think about why people might think that antivirus companies would make these because they would make money, um, you know, I, I understand the idea behind it, but it's not that. The money that they make is way more interesting. Stealing personal data to get into your bank account, for example. Uh, stealing personal data to get access to your accounts. A lot of people don't understand why are they trying to get, you know, why are hackers getting my Facebook account? It's not important. It is. Because it gives them access with your personal name to all of your friends that might actually click on the links, click on something that they think you sent out. So it's a big, big business to steal accounts because I always say it, your best friend and your family is your worst enemy in uh, computer security. So we're going to look in this series at all the different malwares available. Hope you enjoy this series. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.